Shouty Curtis, welcome back to Surrey Storm. Thank you, it's good to be back. You, you clearly know Storm and the sports park very well, so what, what has brought you back to Storm? Um, so I've actually started working in London, so I guess I've had a bit of a, a lifestyle shift as well. Um, I think I yeah, spent a few of my MPL years here and really like the club, really like the place, so yeah, it kind of seemed like a good fit coming back here. So, did you know Mickey already? Yeah, so I did train with Mickey um, for a season and she was amazing, she was really supportive and I think that was definitely one of the things that brought me back here as well. What is it about Mickey? All, all of the players speak so highly of her as a player and as a coach, so what, what is it that, that people see in her? Yeah, so I think before I came back, um, she had always been really supportive of me when I was younger um, and really looking out for, for younger players, which um, I really liked. And then coming back, you just see how hardworking she is. And I think um, a lot of people say, you know, it's a really hardworking club, but I think that stems from what she does um, and definitely leads by example, which, yeah, is a really good thing to see, actually. And as a player, is that is that an important thing when, when you have the coach kind of walking the walk as well as talking the talk, that they're not asking you to do something that they wouldn't do themselves? Yeah, definitely. And it's an interesting dynamic given like a player coach. And I think uh, she's handled that really, really well um, over the past few weeks that I've been here. Um, and kind of seeing her train that hard, actually, she's doing that and coaching. Like It makes everyone else step up and kind of train to that intensity as well, which, um, yeah, has been really exciting. This move fits for you within your 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 whole life and your your yeah. lifestyle. But do you feel you feel that this is the right place as part of a developing Storm team under Mickey to be the next step in your career to to make you the best netball player that you can be? Yeah, definitely. Like if. If I'm training with such good quality players, um, I know a lot of them, um, obviously from when I was here younger, um, and they're, they're all such quality players that to train alongside them every day um, is really you know, going to help me as well, personally, as well as the team. Um, I think also there's a couple of other girls going through the same injury, so I'm coming back from an ACL, and actually to be able to train and, and rehab alongside them is a massive support network that I think's really helped me um, and really like pushes each of us individually um, to try and get back on the court. So that's yeah, that's been really good as well. And I suppose re recovery from injury is as much a mental thing as a physical thing. So when you've yeah. got that support network, yeah, that is that really important to you? Yeah, it's so important, and they're actually really, really like nice girls as well, um, who are really supportive and actually you know you go to the gym and if one person's lifting more like that's just motivation for the other um, and it's kind of trying to bring everyone on that journey as opposed to fighting it all like on your own um, you know with that obviously SNC um, so Tom uh, who's our coach has been really helpful with that um, and so yeah yeah we hope to see you back on court as soon yes. as possible when you are there, what, what, yes. what do you think you can bring to the squad? What strengths do you have as a player? Um, well, first and foremost, I think maybe running, changing the direction, getting all that back. And, and once I've got that back, see how I can develop. Um, I've always been quite a tenacious player. Um, I'd like to continue with that, um, but obviously see how it goes post coming back on court. Mm -hmm. I suppose in, in any sport, an injury like an ACL can change a player's dynamic, can force them to look for other qualities that they've got as a player, but you hope to, to continue along the same vein? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we'll see. Like, I don't know. This is my first major injury, so, um, yeah, kind of see what comes out of it and hopefully come back a stronger player um, is the aim. Indeed, absolutely. You, so yourself, I suppose, the aim is to, is to get back 100% fit and yeah. establish yourself in the squad. Yeah, definitely. I think... I'd love to be back playing, I'd love to you know, get on court again and I think obviously that's going to take time and it's a process um, and it's not going to happen overnight but th that's the aim, that's why I do it. Um, I love being on court, um, especially when you're surrounded by, by the people that are here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm aiming for and, and hopefully it all plays out. And everybody that's come through here has talked about top four, is that something that you, that you, can, you can see in the squad that you think the quality is there to, you've had success with? Um, you know, with Team Bath, so you, you know what it takes to be successful at the top end of the Super League. Yeah, absolutely, and like ultimately, we're we're all giving up a lot of our lives to be here. Um, absolutely, everyone's competing for those top spots. Like we wouldn't be here if, if we didn't want that. And I think we can achieve top four. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but um, I think everyone's on the right, got the right mindset to be aiming for that top spot. So, yeah. Excellent. We look forward to seeing the results of that hard work. Once again, Shafty, welcome. To Thanks very much. Thanks.